In this video of biostatistics, we will see about measures of dispersion. Measures of dispersion is needed to know the degree of spread or variation from the mid value. That is, it could be, we already saw the measures of central tendency, mean, median and mode. So, from the mean value, how much the observations are spread or dispersed to find out that we use the measures of dispersion so how widely the observations are spread that is the purpose there are three commonly used measures of center dispersion range mean deviation and standard deviation range is the uh, difference between the value of the largest observation and the value of the smallest observation so after subtracting these two values we get the range of the observation it is the simplest method and the disadvantage is that no data about the in between values we only have an idea about the largest value and the smallest value the second measures of dispersion is mean deviation mean deviation as the name denotes is the average of deviation from the arithmetic mean so, for example, if x is the arithmetic mean, if xi is an observation, so how far the xi is located from x? You can find out by subtracting xi from x. You can understand, I suppose. So, this is the deviation from the arithmetic mean. Okay, You have to sum it up and divide by the total number of observations, which is the average. So, average of deviations from arithmetic mean is mean deviation. The last one and most commonly used measures of dispersion is standard deviation. It is also known as root mean square deviation. I will explain it, how it is calculated. The first, we have to find out the deviations from the arithmetic mean. As I said, if x is the arithmetic mean, deviation from arithmetic mean for a particular value is x minus xi. If xi is the particular value and how far it is located from mean, we can find out by subtracting mean, uh, subtracting the observed value from the mean. So, you have to square it. You are squaring it. Then find out the average. So, you have to sum up all the observations and divide it by n. So, that is the average. And find the square root of that. Square root. This will give you the formula for standard deviation. You have to find out the deviations of the arithmetic mean x minus xi. Square it. Then find the average of it. That is the sum everything and divided by the uh, total sample number. Then find the square root of it. If sample number size is less than 30, use n minus 1 instead of n. We are actually squaring it to avoid the negative values. The value could be either a positive or negative, but once you square it, it becomes a positive value. And on taking the root, we will get we will come back to the original value. So to avoid the negative values here, we are actually squaring it. And what is the significance of standard deviation? Greater standard deviation means there is greater dispersion. That is the observation uh, observations are located far from the central value. Smaller standard deviation means all the observations are more of uniform value. Standard deviation square is known as variance. So these are the basic concepts which you need to know about the measures of dispersion as far as dentistry is considered. And before ending this video, as we had already announced our giveaway contest for this month, the first question for the contest is as follows. Which drug causes red man syndrome? You know when to send the answer to us and other, other instructions for the contest and what you will receive as a gift as being posted in our uh, community page. A very well curated Important questions for second year BDS students will be gifted to the one lucky winner who sends the correct answers for all the questions which will be published in this month videos at the end of this month videos 
and that book can be availed by all the other students not only second year students it will be definitely useful for any year if you want to know what are the important topics in that particular subject so make use of this opportunity anyone can participate so keep track of all the questions which we will be asking and the question for this video is which drug causes red man syndrome see you in the next video